morning. Everyone is going to need uh, their winter jackets uh, if you're headed out to get your cup of coffee or you're headed out to work because it is very cold out there this morning in Eugene at 21 degrees. The record for this morning is 20 degrees, so we're close to it. We could hit that low record low temperature in Eugene. Oh, we just have to wait the next hour or so. We usually see the lowest temperature just before sunrise, which is at 718 this morning. Here's a look at current temperatures across the rest of the area. You head out to Central Oregon, 5 in Bend, 6 degrees in Sun River. Along I-5, 21 in Corvallis, 28 in Cottage Grove, Roseburg at 30 degrees, not along the coast, 39 in both Newport and North Bend. Florence, though, a degree cooler at 38. Here's a look at radar across the area where we're looking at clear skies across the entire area, and that's what allowed our temperatures to fall as we headed into tonight. Now, plus, or excuse me, headed into last night. Now, with those clear skies, we also didn't have any wind, which usually allows the air to mix up a bit and doesn't allow it to cool as far, but we had calm winds overnight last night, and that caused our temperatures to dip pretty low. Now, the reason we're seeing the clear skies is because high pressure is in full control of our weather. It's keeping the clouds and the showers staying to our north. You can see where those uh, clouds are. They're heading up into Canada, and we're looking at clear skies, and that's what we're going to see as we head throughout the day today. So, at least the clear skies during the day are going to help rebound our temperatures back into the mid 40s once we get into the afternoon and so at least there's some help hope there so for those of you who are actually headed out to the beavers game tomorrow we will see those clear skies throughout the entire day and then into the evening hours kickoff is at 7 30 and we're going to see a cold game though temperatures starting off in the upper 30s but once again falling at freezing by the end of the game even below that so you uh, may want to also dress up in a snowsuit or something we're not expecting the snow but it is going to be very cold out there. So let's switch things back to today before we get to our weekend. We're looking at highs this afternoon to the low 50s. A cold start this morning. Once again, temperatures right now in the upper 30s. For those in the Umpqua Basin, expect a cold start as well. A few areas of freezing fog, but by this afternoon, plenty of sunshine getting those highs back into the mid 40s. For those in the Cascades, you're expecting high temperatures over the passes near 40 degrees in the foothills, upper 40s. Could see a few areas of freezing fog at the lower elevations, but once you get to above the passes, looking at dry conditions there. I don't have to worry about any bad road conditions if you're headed either into Central Oregon or vice versa back into Western Oregon. Here's a look at high temperatures in Central Oregon today. Low 40s, plenty of sunshine once we get into this afternoon, helping us get out of those single digits right now. Willamette Valley expect high temperatures this afternoon into the mid 40s as well, much like what we saw yesterday, but we don't have as strong of winds as what we saw yesterday, so not going to be that bite in the air. Here's a look at the seven day forecast for those along the coast. Plenty of sunshine, highs will be in the mid 50s through the weekend and into next week. You can see those low temperatures though remaining uh, just above freezing in the upper 30s. Um, Umqua Basin, plenty of sunshine, a few areas of freezing fog this morning and tomorrow morning. Low temperatures will climb each and every day. You can see will be at least near freezing by Monday. For those in the Cascades, plenty of sunshine as well. Highs will be into the 40s through the week ahead. And for those in the Willamette Valley, freezing fog the next two morning. Highs in the mid to upper 40s and our low temperatures still remaining below freezing, but at least climbing a degree or two each and every morning.